Today we're going to make some headers like the one you see here. This is a pretty big one here covering two doors. It's got a wide piece in the middle. It's kind of different. This one's covering a sliding door. I'm going to be using MDF, uh, some poplar trim, and some ripped down shiplap that's about 5 8 thick using half inch MDF and the like I said the the uh, ship lapis half inch five eighths somewhere around there I like it because it's not quite as thick as one by so you can see here I used um, some MDF uh, at five and a quarter inches wide and made some plinth blocks out of pine down here so we're going to make five headers. Three of them are the same size and two are some more custom work. All right, so I got one started. Um, measurement for the MDF, the half inch MDF board is 45 inches. I'm going to do about half inch overhang on the bottom and about an inch and an eighth overhang on the top. It would be that molding that will cover that. Like I said, I use shiplap mirror. It really needs to be sanded. I need a new blade on the table saw, so it's kind of rough. Could use MDF to do this, but MDF, it's really gritty. Um, and I really don't feel like putting all that primer on that. So I'll just sand this uh, really well. The only drawback to the shiplap is it has this small groove. But you could cut a short return and you wouldn't have to worry about that. I just put a little wood, wood filler in that and it paints right out and nobody ever see it. So right now I'm getting ready to put uh, the molding on top here. All right, you can see the molding's got the regular 45 on it. And then we have to do a short return here, which I usually glue. Um, I haven't got the patience for the glue to set up, so I usually shoot a brand in. Most of the time it doesn't split the wood. Sometimes it does. Uh, I have to make another one. But for, I'd say 90% of the time it doesn't break the wood. Put this piece on. So, like I said, 90% of the time it doesn't split, and you just saw the 10% that does. But that'll hold, and that's what caulk is for. Gorilla glue, glue makes a good caulk too. It's paintable, holds it together well. Just gotta hit this in the right place where it won't break. All right, so pretty easy project. They've made uh, five headers. It's a good example of batch carpentry. Once you got all the components cut, just assembling them is uh, pretty easy. So just as a recap, I um, have an MDF base here, a half inch MDF. Um, in this case, this one was 39 inches, um, six and a half inches tall, and then an inch and a half of shiplap, uh, pine shiplap on top, about an inch and an eighth on the bottom. I let it overhang about a half inch, 
on the bottom and probably about an inch and an eighth on the top um, just to support this poplar molding here. So as you can see, it's pretty basic stuff. I mean, and you can caulk and fill this um, in the shop or you can caulk and fill it when you're doing the rest of uh, the work, the paint, the priming and the paint. So I'll show you real quickly here, just setting one of these up uh, and then what one looks like when it's all painted. So here's a header. Uh, it's just been primed and you can see the uh, MDF legs. Uh, five and a quarter wide. Got the plinth block, which is made out of pine. It's five and a half inches wide, uh, approximately nine and a half inches tall on the plinth block. Um, legs are usually around 60, actually six feet uh, long. And then uh, the headers are going to change with the size of the door. Um, you can see one of the windows here. Just have, I just uh, changed out the sill and added the stool there um, this is interesting though it's just uh, as a cost saver and all we needed to do was just kind of square up the windows they were in drywall just put a piece of quarter inch loo on there um, you see some of the plies on that but that'll be covered when it gets caulked ease the edges of uh, the half inch mdf just to give it a little bit of profile and we have to take down the curtain rod because we had to get the curtain rods up for just to have some curtains in the window but you can see here's one of the headers that is going to fit right on top of those legs and again here's what the finished product looks like all primed and painted thanks for watching